and welcome back to my 2021 holiday series. I hope that you are having such a great holiday season so far. I'm very happy that you're here today because today I am sharing with you one of my favorite spaces in my home and that is my dining room. I love this room so much because it houses a lot of my family heirlooms and during the holiday season, it just gets even better. So I have decorated a ton in here and of course I'm gonna take you through the entire process. I think you're gonna love it. So come on in and let's get to decorating. Starting out today with my tree in this room, this is the first official tree to go up in my house this year. I have lots of tree decorating planned and I cannot wait to share it all with you here in this series throughout the season. I will be making a brand new tree decorating tutorial video, which I am so excited about this year with tons of helpful tree decorating tips. If that is something you might be interested in watching, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss it. The video should be out sometime next week. Something really special I thought I would share with you about this candy cane themed tree that I do each year is that most, if not all, of the ornaments you see here were actually my grandmother's that she used in her home quite a few Christmases ago. When she changed up her themes one year, she decided to give me her whole candy cane ornament collection and I just love it so much. My grandma and my mom always make every holiday so incredibly special and that's really where my love of holiday decorating comes from it is those two fabulous women it just means so much to me to be able to use things with such great memories attached Now I'm starting on my tablescape. If you're noticing the hot cocoa bar that is behind me, I actually decorated that in another video that's out on my channel now. And in that video, I have two really yummy hot cocoa recipes. So if you wanna check it out, I will have it linked up top and in the description box below. the garland and the little battery operated string lights that I'm using this year at Hobby Lobby. These string lights are great because they have a timer so if I forget to turn them off it is totally okay which I need. <laughs> That make it Christmas time. Drinking hot chocolate fireside. Checking out all those Christmas lights. Singing out every word to carols that we like. We only get 
forget this once a year and now it's here feels like christmas when we're all in one place it feels like this year i decided to take some of the large candy ornaments that i usually use on the tree and add them to my centerpiece instead i'm also using the same ribbon on my centerpiece that i used in my tree like Christmas to me There is hope in the winter sky And it's not that hard to find A helping hand, an open heart Another chance, a brand new start There is a home I'm running to Another year that we've been through And after all is said and done To be together is enough once a year and now it's here feels like christmas when we're all in one place it feels like christmas these memories we make and all the world is wonderful it's on display to see it feels like christmas mm -hmm. it feels like christmas to me days of I want to share a really good tip that I picked up from a friend of mine when designing a centerpiece for a table, and that is to keep everything under neck and face level. That way your guests can easily enjoy each other's company from across the table and converse without having to look through items that are in the center of the table. All the world is wonderful, it's on display to see, feels like Christmas. Oh yeah Feels like Christmas When we're all in one place It feels like Christmas These memories we make And all the world So I am setting the table right now for a little hot cocoa party that I have planned later on in December and I can't wait. These dishes that I'm using for Christmas this year are one of my absolute favorite things ever. They are so special because they were my grandmother's dishes. She gifted me her entire collection of Spode Christmas dishes. One, because she's the best grandma ever, but also because she knows how much I love the holidays and collecting china and how much something like this means to me. I have so many memories attached to these dishes and it is just so special to have them out when my grandmother and the rest of the family visits. During the holiday season, the dining room becomes one of the most important rooms in the house. It's not only where we gather to eat, but we also love as a family to play board games in here and do puzzles and just make a lot of fun memories in this space. I really wanted the room to be special for everyone this year, for my family and my friends. So a lot of the items I'm using in this room are things that my family has passed down through the generations, which makes them even more special for everyone. Once once they come in and they realize the things that they're using or the dishes they're eating off of or the ornaments on the tree have really fun memories attached to them. I love that. When the snow falls outside, you can hold me tight. When it's cold,
I decided to add a couple of wreaths that I found at Walmart last year to my windows in here. I'm just hanging them from the curtain rods with some ribbon. Since I'm planning to have a little hot cocoa party once it gets closer to Christmas, I thought I would share with you a simple DIY gift that I plan to put at each place setting this year. Just a little something that is thoughtful and fun for guests to take home. Making it is really simple. Here is what you'll need. The ingredients that you'll need to make these jars is one cup all-purpose flour, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon salt, a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of white sugar, three and three quarters ounces of hot cocoa mix, a half cup of tiny marshmallows, and a half cup of crushed peppermint. And the supplies you'll need are one glass jar with a lid, ribbon, string for your tags, gift tags, and a hole punch. I've linked a printable down below. It's free to download. It has all of the instructions, the ingredients, and the things you'll need, as well as these exact gift tags for you to use if you would like to. To make these gift jars, all you have to do is start by layering each ingredient into your jar. Once you're finished, you'll close up your jar and attach your ribbon around the top. Then you'll want to print and cut out your gift tags, punch a hole at the top, and attach them using your string. It would also be such a great gift for co-workers, neighbors, teachers, basically anyone on your list that you just want to get a little something for. There's something so thoughtful about giving someone a gift that is handmade. I think it just says made with love. I thought of you and I wanted to make you something special. Thank you so much for decorating my dining room with me today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up so that I know and subscribe to my channel because we have so many more fun holiday videos coming and I would absolutely love to spend this holiday season here with you on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe and if you do, leave me a comment down below introducing yourself. Say hi, I can't wait to meet you. Again, I just wanna say thank you. I'm so grateful for you and I'll see you soon. Bye.